XML, yes, we know like this. But in the real time, we are generating this type of data also, nested XML also. REC root node is common, start node, end node. Inside root node, three chains is there. Name, age, the gender, three chains is common again. But only difference is, yes, age and that gender, these two are the chains of properties. Previously, XML data, age, gender, name, both three are chains of REC. But nested XML, nested means inside one, grand and child parents parent grandparent relation age gender these two are the pro chains of properties and properties is the chains of rec and name is the diet chain of rec if we have the data is the nested xml data like this how to clean this type of data convert this data into table format see read it read the first line compare previous line and this line This line and the first line XML data. Here properties is a one extra column is there, one extra node is there. Inside these properties, those two columns are available. Inside these properties, those two columns are available. So I want to clean this data. I want to convert this data into structure format. Nothing changes. Same four step strategy only. Again, same four steps, create table, single column table, load the data, create a structure table. How many columns we are taking here? Three columns only. Name, age, gender only. And override the function, one table to another table. First, create a table, loading data, select a table, create three columns, insert override table, table name, select XPath string, Column, column name, REC name, up to now is common. Only difference is XPath string, call one, REC properties age. We are giving the extra path here, extra name. I want to send a one courier. I want to mention clear address, right? Similarly, my XPath string also want to go and pick the data. Where the data is available, I want to tell to clearly to XPath string. Yes, the age is available under properties. Properties are available under REC. Go and pick the data. The REC available under call. Call is available under this table. Now my XPath is going and picking those data, pasting it to my table. Similarly, the age also, the gender also. So before that one, why I'm dropping this? Uh, why? I dropped these two tables. Why I mentioned drop comments here? The tables are already available. This script already I create. I run previously. The time tables are created. So those tables I don't want. Uh, if, I, if the tables are already existing, it's throwing an error. That's why I dropped these two tables. So I want to run the script. How can I clear everything first? Ls. Yes, XML data to cat XML data to. Yes, this is my data I created previously, and now I want to see the script also. Nested XML, yes. This is my script. I created this one. So first, you drop two tables. Create table, table name, load data local in path. What is the file path? Here some name is there, but what is my local file name? 
Next XML file name XML data to make a clarity this point. So change here that local file name mention whatever it is data that is XML data to into table table name select a statement create table insert override command also clear everything is there I want to run it this one close it now I want to run hive minus F script name nested XML SC enter Yes, all queries are running one by one sequentially. Right. So clearly, we are cleaning those data, converting into table format. So that is the complete XML data processing. 